your YouTube is started. Your live stream in YouTube is started. So you can go right to YouTube. I can go right to YouTube too. Let me. Oh, so I can just get that YouTube and put that in the um, thing, right? Exactly. Right. It's it's your channel. So I'll, I'll – Okay. Yep. Yeah, you're live right now. Perfect. Started. So you can go right to YouTube. So if I go to the live... So, okay, share. Special web talk live with teacher Annie and nonprofit talks. Okay, we are at 11, so it's about time. Let's see who else. Okay. One second, IEG. We're about ready to start talking. Hold on one second. I'll let Quaylon in. Richard Campbell is the individual. Yes. I'll let him in. Okay, cool. Good morning, everyone. What's up, chill guy? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, I I decided to work outside today for a little while because it felt good. Nice. Um, Quaylon, give me about 30 seconds. How you doing, Mr. Campbell? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing Mr. Well. Campbell, how are you, sir? Ah. Uh, can um, I'm doing well. How can we start in like five minutes? Can I come back in five minutes? Sure. I'm, I'm okay. gonna in, I'm gonna talk a little bit, so come in when you feel like it. Okay, give me right back something. I got a, a note that's critical. Let me. I'll be right back in five. No minutes. problem. No problem. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, we're starting right now. Uh, we we uh, don't have a lot of time, um, because Mr. Campbell is very busy. Um. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly introduce uh, kind of the, the what's going on in this. If you are listening live in Web Talk, um, unless you're the, the people that I have talked to, I'm not going to be letting you into this Zoom meeting because this is just information only. We're not asking questions. We're just hearing um, information. So um, if you are in the live, if you're listening live right now in Web Talk or Facebook or YouTube or Zoom, yeah, we're on all of them. Um, just just listen. Uh, this information is is going to be you know kind of broadcast out 
And then once we hear the information from Mr. Campbell, um, you know, then we'll have probably another live where people can come in and start asking questions um, related to this because I don't want to waste his time or Quaylon's time or anybody's time right now because um, myself included, I have a meeting at noon and I'm hoping that we can get this done before noon. But if we can't, I'm okay with that because I'll do two meetings at once and I don't care. Um, so what I want what I want people to hear right now is we are about to do an interview with someone who Quaylon um, brought to IEG and said this is somebody that, that he uh, feels like would be a great addition to the IEG network. Um, his company, I'm going to let him explain and do the, do the presentation because it is incredible. Uh, I already heard the presentation and I, and I messed up and I, hadn't, I didn't do it live the first time because I didn't, I didn't think that he was going to you know, give us all the information right away. But this is um, kind of an agriculture slash like um, 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 planting and growing your own produce kind of uh, philosophy. This company is worldwide. It is incredible. And uh, I think that that is going to be a huge, huge, huge addition to um, this, this particular group. And, uh, and, you know, before we get started, guys, Quaylon, it started as a, as a chance meeting and it has grown because Quaylon has 500 things that he is doing and all of them are benefiting the world. And this little tiny piece is, is one of the pieces to the puzzle that, that he is bringing to the table um, with IEG, which is incredible. And, um, you know, we're going to talk to him about his nonprofit in a completely different live um, because it, it's just, it, it's just another thing that's just going to, you know, be, be fantastic. And right now what we're doing is Quaylon is bringing a major company to this. And if we can get that major company to be part of IEG and interact with them, all that's going to do, the company is fine. The company's doing their own thing. We, they don't need us. They really don't. They're doing just fine. We need the company. Okay. So, so when we think about companies and how the ecosystem works, they don't need IEG to be successful. They are already successful, but they are a company that is going to help the world. That's their goal. And, and we'll see what they're talking about. But in the process of helping the world, they are going to help teachers in IEG, students in IEG, Quaylon in IEG, so that he can continue growing his nonprofit organization. Okay, so this is how it works. If, if you haven't figured out what IEG is about, this, this interview is going to be one of those things that shows you. Because what it's doing is it's bringing a company in that they're doing great work for the world. What it's going to do is it's going to generate revenue for them. It's going to generate revenue for Quaylon, And it's going to generate revenue for about four or five teachers already that I know about that are above Quaylon. Okay. I, I don't know how many teachers are going to be affected by this, but there's going to be a lot if, if this works out. Okay. I believe that Mr. Campbell is on board. We're going to have to talk some logistics to him later on um, as far as like, uh, you know, how we're going to do this. But I think that that from what I heard last time, this guy is is all about helping the world. And um, so so this is going to be very powerful uh, for for IEG, for web talk, for businesses. I mean, this is this is something that that if if, if this doesn't excite you by the end of the of this uh live then i then i don't know how how to how to excite you guys because I, I can see quailan smiling already because because he knows what this is about and how this works and so what's going to happen is this particular company educationally agriculture educationally art educationally um um speaking writing entertaining um growing all these different things and english on top of all that all these things are centered around this company. So when um, people start using this and, and go through the, 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 tr the, like the, the classes, I mean, this is, this is brilliant. They already have it. Um, they have, uh, you know, they have just everything set up already. We just have to put it together and figure out a common ground to make this work. So Quaylon, 
would you like to add anything that, you know, because I know that you're part of this already. So add, you know, add a little bit of your information and we're just going to wait until um, Rich, you know, Mr. Campbell comes in. And when he comes in, boom, we'll go right into it. Absolutely. So I'll start off by saying, um, hi, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm not sure what time zone everyone is in, but um, I hope you all are having a great day. If not, I hope that it's great from here on out. Um, and I'll start off by saying how I met Mr. Campbell. Uh, so I met him, I was coming out of class one day um, over at Morehouse, and he had a table set up in the lobby of the building that my class was in. And I'm walking by, you know, people have tables set up all the time. And he was like, hey, everyone, you know, try my green beans, try some of my wheat grass. And I'm like, okay. And he was like, yeah, I grew it using rocks, sand, and recyclable plastic. And I was kind of confused. And I stopped, I tried it. I was like, okay, yes, the green bean tastes good. It tastes you know, like a green bean. Um, and he was like, I'm for real, I grew this. Do you want to try it too? And I sat there for about 10 minutes arguing with him, telling him how you cannot grow plants with rocks and sand. You need soil, you need fertilizer, like you need all these different things. And he was like, hey, I literally wrote the book on it. And I was like, the book is wrong, I need proof. So he ended up giving me the book that he wrote, um, it's called River Stones Grow Plants. Um, and he also gave me a sample grow cup. And the sample grow cup, it, he used um, a styrofoam bowl for like the drip tray. He had a reusable plastic cup that he just poked holes in, had some sand, had some rocks. And at that time it had seeds in it. When I thought he gave it to me, I thought he just gave me a cup full of rocks and sand. And he was like, water it for three weeks and see what happens. So I take it home. I leave it outside. I'm sitting here watering this cup of rocks and sand thinking, wow, I can't believe I just got played. I feel like the boy with the beanstalk beans, um, however that was, I was like, yeah, he really sold me this. I can't believe that. Um, but then sure enough, after like a week or so, I was like, hey, what's what's this germinating? That looks like a seed sprout. And then next thing you know, after about two, two and a half weeks, I see green beans coming on. And I was so excited. I started walking around campus with my plant, taking it to class with me, um, walking in down the street, making sure it gets the sunlight. Uh, people were asking me, hey, what are you going to name your green beans? I'm taking it to all of my meetings and everything because I was just so fascinated that rocks and sand actually grew green beans that people can pick and eat. That afterwards, I read his book front to back. I'm going to be starting an outdoor garden pretty soon um, just because... I feel like this geo-agricultural world, I'm happy Mr. Campbell was able to join back on. I was just telling him how I met you over at Morehouse. Um, and I'm just really excited for everyone else to be introduced to this opportunity that quite honestly changed my life and can change the world. All right, perfect. All right, uh, Quaylon, I'm gonna put you on mute. Um, I'm going to unmute Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell, welcome. Do you see a, a person named Yola trying to join? Yes. That's my vice president. Okay, I'll admit it. All right, cool. Um, so, so real quickly, I know that you know that we're all on a on a on a time schedule here. Um, but what what I would like to do is, I know that you told me a, a lot about your company, and and I was, I mean, just blown away. To tell you the truth. And, uh, you know, and then we kind of started talking about web talk and, and you said, if, if Quaylon's part of it, we are too. And I, and I think that that is pretty uh, impressive for him as a person that, that you know him as a person and say, if, if he's part of this, if he's, you know, sees value in this, then we're in. So I, I really appreciate how, you know, you, you responded to, to him. Um, what I would like for, for you to do is, is what, what this live is, is for you to explain anything that you want about the company and, and kind of tell us about it and, and what's going on and, you know, ba you know, the, the things that you already told me, um, because what we're going to do is we want web talk to hear this. We want to talk to the people, the different students. I know that there's a group of teachers and students already that are very interested. So what we're going to have to do later on is figure out what we're going to do to, to work out all the, the, you know, the, the details, I guess. But what I want is for people to see 
what your company is doing and just how incredible this is going to be for people around the world to learn from you and to learn from your company um, how to do all of the different facets of, of what you do. So um, I, I'm going to leave it up to you. I've turned you into a co-host so that you can uh, share your screen if you like. Uh, do you want me to make Yola a, 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 uh, um, a co-host as well? Yes. Okay. So um, we've been we've been talking a little bit about you. Um, Quaylon has been talking about you. I kind of gave a little bit of um, information, but go ahead and, and uh, introduce yourself and and take it away and just tell us about your company. And we're just going to listen. Okay. Before we begin, we like to figure out the, a little bit about the audience first. Okay. Okay. Well, and the so audience the audience here is is the like I said the IEG kind of network within Web Talk. So. Um, Innovative English Global, a group of 65 plus countries, teachers, students. It started out as all as, as many people wanting to learn English, but now it has become multiple languages, multiple I mean by, languages. I mean by like Mr. Teacher Tim and oh, oh, Mr. Oh, okay. the people in here, and, the people in the Zoom. Yeah, the, the folks, the folks are in here watching now. Okay. So so uh Tim is uh Tim and I have been uh working together for about about five years now. Uh, Tim has been doing stuff with with the Innovative English Global since um, like they were starting fires with sticks. That's when he started uh, working on this. So uh, he's been he's been doing this for for years and years and years, connecting the world um, with with teachers and with students and, and developing this idea of, of free education. Um, but now that we have web talk, that free education is now turning away from just donation kind of based things to the site itself is going to pay the pay the uh, uh, teachers. So so we've been working with WebTalk for a while to to build uh, this community of people around the world. Um, Zineb Zineb is listening. She is actually going to I think she is going to kind of partner up with Quaylon and another lady, and they're going to start doing um, some different uh, you know. Um, community-based things and and as far as like your company it's going to the community is going to be the entire group of IEG and, and around the world so um, she's listening right now so that she can kind of get a little bit more information from listening to you and then understanding what you know what kind of the process is and then uh, making a decision whether she wants to kind of join in with them and, and help you know uh, you know um, spread the you know the news and, and help around the world and she is actually from morocco uh we have another person arsh or bestoon if he shows up if it's a, if you see bestoon he is kind of the leader of the uh, a group of teachers about 25 teachers and about 250 students that are interested in in what's going on with this company and they want you know he's going to get more information if he shows up um, he's also going to kind of connect with, with Quaylon and, and work on that. And then there might be a Monique, she might show up as well. So I think that's okay. it. Okay. 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 Great. Well, welcome, uh, everyone. And thank you for taking the time out to see what Quaylon has got cooking. You mentioned, um, making fires with sticks. And so right next to the sticks are what stones. And so we basically figured out how to unlock the code of the stone to feed you. So we, we basically um, figured out how to grow plants and rocks without soil and fertilizer. And we call it geological agriculture or geoag. Okay, geological agriculture or geoag. And you can Google it. Um, and it's basically the study of growing plants and rocks without soil and without fertilizers permanently indoors or outdoors. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to use the rocks around you as your energy source for food production and other things. And we start with showing you how to use the rock to make plants and grow, like Quaylen said, beans in your hand in a cup that you can go and show. And so it's slightly different paradigm than what we're used to, 
because modern scientists says that rock is not capable of such feats, that only soil can do the things that we are asserting. And so um, we figured this out by accident a little over 25 years ago and have been refining the science of geological agriculture um, over the time, developing books and literature. And we issued a textbook to humanity of sorts um, because it seems that everyone kind of missed the fact that rocks are minerals. When you think rock, you think not good for agriculture. When you think minerals, you think essential for agriculture. Missing that rocks and minerals are identical. Rocks are a collection of minerals. If you add water to rock properly, yes, just add water. For the entire time of our species, we could have just added water to rock in the proper configuration. And that's the trick. How do you configure the rock to release its minerals to sustain plant life? And so we figured that out over our 25 years of observation and did a variety of tinkering and engineering to work out the kinks so that we could develop um, predictable, beneficial agriculture systems made of geological material or rocks. So whether the rocks from your hardware store, you know, everyone always asks, well, where do you get the rocks? And it's interesting because before we talk about geological agriculture, you know where to get rocks from, your hardware store. Everybody who's a homeowner knows that when they want to go and get rocks, they go to their hardware store. It's all different kinds. You call the landscaper. You get it. it rocks everywhere. And so it's always the biggest question for me. This is kind of funny. Well, where do you get these rocks from? How are people going to get those rocks? Like, like getting rock became an impossibility. We just got rejected on a grant application because they couldn't figure out where are people are going to get the rocks from. The hardware store. So we show you how to get the rocks from the hardware store or the beach or a river or the mountain. When you go hiking, the rocks, the rocks of the earth are all minerals of the earth. And we can, you know, through configuration, you can become an expert at harnessing the power of the rock for plant production. And so uh, Quaylen shared how he did it in a cup. And that's kind of how we start people off, especially during the winter or wherever you live, because we always want to show you how to eat in the rock in your home. We need you to take care of home first and take care of the nutritional value of your home. Uh, a lot of institutions, when they look for agriculture innovation, they focus on how do you take care of the farmer? The farmer doesn't live in a place where there's no access to food. That's the inner cities. So our innovation is kind of geared towards farmers when they kind of need to be geared towards homeowners because we want to, you know, save the homeowner. The farmer has food all forever. It's just, it's the, the, the end of the supply chain, the consumers in the cities where it's challenging. So we develop systems and we teach homeowners an indoor geoag programming first so that you can take care of your nutritional needs at home first. So we show you how to grow um, your microgreens and sprouts in abundance. So if you go into New York or Union Square on any given weekend, wheatgrass is the biggest line of all the retailers in the market. Grass providers in New York because of their nutritional value. They're a microgreen. So Geo Ag grows wheatgrass really, really easily. So that now everybody can have an endless supply of wheatgrass at home or any of the other crops that you can ease the, the easier crops. So the easier crops for us that we teach you early are the microgreens and sprouts, the wheatgrass, the broccoli sprouts, which is the number one cancer fighter in the world. 
the pea shoot microgreens, also the number number two cancer fighter. Wheatgrass is number three. And so we teach you the first set alfalfa sprouts. We teach you the high nutritional value microgreens and sprouts first because they grow clean in rock. They grow dirty in soil. What that means is that a lot of the microgreens and sprouts in soil develop bacteria that's harmful where the rock dampens the growth of that bacteria and the microbial spread uh, and allows for a cleaner growth of your microgreens and sprouts. So we always start off teaching people the indoor methods first so that you can grow indoors and have food permanently indoors for yourself. And I'm gonna just take you through uh, what that looks like. I'm gonna switch over to an image that we like to show folks um, and let me, let me see if you got it. Do you see this magazine cover? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So this is our magazine that we put out periodically, uh, to share the world of geological agriculture. And on this cover are the pea shoot microgreens, incredibly, uh, powerful for addressing cancer due to the high amount of sulfur in that in that plant. And so you see what we do. Look at that. That is a recycled water milk, uh, a recycled gallon of milk retrofitted. So now we're recycling, we're taking a single use plastic, making it permanent use, and we're giving you fresh nutrition of high nutritional value. So we test all the plants we grow. We test all the plants that we grow. Uh, and that way we know the nutritional value. But this is an example of what we show you indoors so that you can turn your table at home into a geoag micro farm where you get nothing but green. All that, all that green food value is high grade nutrition for your body. And so you can cut that up and put it in your salads and your juices on your as a, a in your as a part of your food. You can even take that and put it on your hot dogs, chop it up, put it on your Big Macs. And so that's food, right? Use it as salad. But those some of the strongest nutritional value food products that you can grow. And then the rock makes it a little bit stronger. This is us at the World Bank when I but this is also just our welcome letter our table of contents, and in here, this is what we show you early. How to get this right here. On the far left, you have the sunflower microgreens, and all this is in two weeks. We wanna make sure we can feed you and stop malnutrition in your household in two weeks. Stop the hunger paradigm. This right here, you eat on this every day, you will have the green nutrition you need that's prescribed by your local agricultural uh, jurisdictions. These are some of the strongest, except in the middle. That's the gladiola flower. So if we're gonna feed you, we also want you to have a good environment as well. And so you see the wheatgrass on the right, the pea shoots, that's two weeks. So now everywhere, after a person takes one of our courses, within two weeks, this is what you can have at your house. So that you don't have to go far to get nutrition. And then we, and, and this is part of our training. We have to train you on how to grow 30 plants. And it's usually a 10 week course and you see the topics, but then we show you the benefits of what you're gonna learn in your new agriculture life. And so a lot of us say we have brown thumbs because we're genetically predisposed to not being able to grow in soil. And that is because soil is finicky and tricky. And so it requires a lot of care and coddling. Well, rock does not. So because of that, you get all of these 15 benefits you see in the lower right-hand corner. So this is an example. And here, again, we said wheatgrass. Well, here is where we took the recycled plastic and we made them into our wheatgrass makers. Right there, you look at it about... $15, $20 worth of wheatgrass on the open market if you took this down to uh, Union Square in New York 
or any place where wheatgrass is popular, which is a lot of places, because a lot of biopharmaceutical products are derived from wheatgrass. More on our response and getting supplies. Hey, where do you get the rocks from? You might be lucky. We're talking from the area in blue. You might be lucky. Rocks might be where you got your house or basically go to the hardware store. You can ask your government, university, and companies can also do the same thing. Go to the hardware store and landscapers, provide the rock for your population. It's the cheapest aggregate in the store. And here again, look at that. That's the plant of plants. That is what should be the basis of everybody's salad. That plant right there is pea shoot microgreens. We invite you to look up the nutritional value. It's through the roof. And you see there an old Coke bottle, Pepsi bottle. It's through the uh, very low, low cost method and permanent. That plastic container will outlive you just like those rocks in that sand. And so you can use it. You don't need to continue to take plastic and throw it away, you can use it to grow your produce. So we call that our plastics to produce program. You give us all your plastic back, we give you produce makers. And then here's how it looks outside. It's not just inside. Off to the far upper right is where I live. And so we're gonna look at what it looks like today. What you see here, I'm gonna try to zoom in. That's where I'm sitting right now. And you see that tall, that's a, at that time, that's an 11 foot cherry tomato plant. I got about a thousand cherry tomatoes out of that. And then they fall into the rock below and they seed. So we're gonna show you today what it looks like today. But this was probably two years ago. So now we show you. So the garden I put down two years ago or, or five years ago, I use it's every year. It returns a lot of the times. I don't have to seed anymore. A summary of what grows indoors easily, and you see how we like to turn tables into food, a farming area. Your six foot table, we want to turn it into your personal farm. You don't need two acres to have a farm anymore. You can have a six foot table. Here is the food that you saw in the beginning of the magazine at the Microsoft holiday party in Atlanta so that they can um, enjoy a GeoAg microgreens bar. So everybody came, they snacked, they ate, and then invited us into their communities to do additional activities. But this is an application for those who are catering minded. This is where we teach thousands. We've taught over 5,000 people directly who have books and are in the community over the years. And here are just some of them. A kid in elementary school in Patterson, New Jersey, lower left, took that same grow cup that Quaylen showed around campus and won his city science fair with it. City, not school. He beat the school, then won the city. Again, this is, this is what I, one of our favorite ads. Some idiot called this single-use plastic for trash. Geoag says permanent use plastic to grow food. And then we even take the other part of the plastic that's not cut and use it in our outdoor systems for water retention. The reason we like plastic is because of its water retention and durability. Now, our university partners. We work with universities around the world from George Washington University here in Washington, D.C. to Tennessee State in Nashville. That's where I take students onto rock quarries and dredging operations. And we work with the students in their classrooms. And here's Morgan State 
trying to do a, a, a competition between rock and soil, but they used a, a, a geoag irrigation and soil thought that it would be okay in geoag irrigation system, but soil lost badly as we can see here. But you wouldn't know that soil was at a disadvantage because soil was using rocks irrigation, which is very efficient. And soil irrigation is very inefficient. We have to, you know, water every day or every two days. With rock, you fill up our tray, stay there for a week or two. With soil, you use one of our rock irrigation systems, it's going to kill everything. So that's why the soil lost this competition right here badly. Now, here is we here we are at Bronx Community College, showing folks in the in the in their nutrition class, how to do this in their schools. Here's the test where we can actually determine the nutritional value of the rocks to show you what's in the rock in terms of how amount of calcium it's putting out or, or, or potassium or magnesium. So we can show you, in normal traditional agriculture, they kind of dumb it down to NPK, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. And, they, and it's kind of, I guess they're good to do that because those are the main ones you need. But all of the rest of these micronutrients are important as well. So we kind of go more expansive with our presentation of science to include a lot more of the elemental scale and the elemental table uh, in the definition of the plant testing that we do. And so this talks about the nutrition and where we get our plants tested. We pretty much sent our samples to the five largest labs in the United States capable of doing plant tissue and irrigation water testing. And they are Penn State, University of Delaware, Clemson, University of Georgia, and the North Carolina Department of Agriculture in Raleigh. And so that's where we do all our sample, where our testing. And then they give us back the reports that tell us the nutritional value of the plant. And here is an example of one of our nutritional value of the plant reports. Uh, we don't have a lot of, I mean, basically the dark green shows where the rock is putting more of the nutrient than the soil. The yellow is where the rock is weaker than the soil. And then the green and the light green with no numbers is where rock is similar, is equal. And so let's, let's look closer and look at the micronutrients. And these are plant tissue tests where we send the tissue to the lab and get an analysis. And everywhere where it's dark green is where the rock is higher than the sufficiency range of the soil. And then the plants that we looked at were sunflowers, pea shoots, peas, cilantro, wheatgrass, and beans. And now we can give people a full spectrum analysis of what's in the plants you just grew how much nutrition of phosphorus is in there, nitrogen and sulfur. And in the cancer community, it's all about the sulfur. Uh, for the heart community, it's about phosphorus. For uh, regulation of body, it's about potassium. And bones, it's about calcium. And so you recognize all of the elements and know what they're for a little bit, but here is a better roadmap to kind of show you where what plants do what for what micro and macronutrients that you need. So sometimes people say, hey, you know, the peas have a lot of, of um, phosphorus and nitrogen in it. And so, or, or copper. So you can see on a test like this, line four from the top is peas. Well, we go and see it. We see a lot of dark green. We see a lot of high value coming out of these geoag peas. And then, we, so we want to look at the dark green because the dark green tells us where the high nutritional value is coming from the rock for that plant, for that rock type. Now, remember, we every rock has a different nutritional value. Um, and so just to go back real quick, we see here, we did a test from USA rock, from Africa rock, and you see every rock, has a different number. So every rock has a different nutrient signature. And so the rock that I wrote the book on is the Maryland rock. And if you look down here, the Maryland rock 
is generally the lowest. The top line is the regular water. The other ones are rock with water in it for seven days. And then you see a full spectrum analysis of the data. Well, the thing to know is that the Maryland rock is one of the weakest in strength and potassium levels, 0.71, where all the other potassiums are much higher. Look at that Africa rock, 39.52 potassium. That shows you that rocks are significantly different in their nutrient output, and that nutrient does translate to the plant. So pea shoots growing in the Africa rock are going to be higher nutritional value than the American rock. And so this is what we like to take people through early to teach them about access to nutrition at home. And then we get into other universities that we work with to look at different uh, ways of um, different rocks and refining this so that we can make it more accessible to the, the greater uh, community. So you see the universities we work with overseas. Here are 15 here in Africa that do the bulk of our overseas collaborative work. And then our universities here in the United States, along with areas of, of GEOAG that each of them are, are, are exploring. And so we see here, whether it's bioplastics and bioengineering or animal feed or chronic disease, different scientists and university are trying to uncover um options for innovation where rock is the nutrient source and there's another list of universities that we also work with and then here's our nonprofit that's run out of atlanta uh, people that we train in the center commissioner arrington and hall the two commissioners that kicked this off in atlanta uh you know three years ago and then this is how my cherry tomatoes look, uh, lettuce and other things. Other magazine covers, introducing GEOAG last year, uh, how we work with, uh, 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 the, this top issue is how we work with a county in order to feed the citizens of a county. And the bottom issue looks at how we work with the high school and, and work with the environmental science class. And then this is the book, this is the textbook that we teach from, River Stones Grow Plants. And then a list of our partners, and this is also a patented science. We patented this, there are 14 patents covering geological agriculture research and applications. And so our, our job is to teach people how to do it so that they could benefit from them in their populations. But because science missed the rocks so so poorly over the years, it's we can't just leave it open to the public because 60% of the rules of gardening are different. And if you try to combine soil rules with rock rules, you won't have a performing um, program. And so here is how we teach it in the classroom. Everybody gets it in class, just like a, when we're together. But now we do the webinars and show you how to do it at home on your own. This is us at the world at the uh, United Nations last week. I had just met Anthony Fauci. Uh, I had, we had just talked about those beans. He was there by uh, at, at that at that. Uh, and so this is uh, I just met him there. Uh, right. And then I took this picture right uh, of the of the beans next to the United Nations building last year. And so. That is our opening magazine that we like to kind of take people through to get you through through the, the bewilderment of this is happening. Yes, this is happening. This is definitely happening. It's happening. And as you see, we're doing it right this time. We are heavy in academia. You know, we're all over the universities. I think you, in the cover it says 31. We're about up to about 42 right now. We're, we're onboarding new universities near daily. Um, and tomorrow we have, or Tuesday we have a, uh, it's tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday we have a session hosted by Morgan State University featuring bioplastics. And we're even having a representative from 3M on that 
to look at uh, what kind of materials can we create to enhance geological agriculture. Everything you saw was us using recycled trash. All that you saw was the use of recycled chat trash smartly. So now with the likes of 3M, it's all about creating systems and materials designed to harness the rock. Not systems we retrofitted, but let's create systems designed for the rock and still recycle everything we possibly can. But when we want it in our homes, we don't want a whole bunch of recycled materials. We want a whole bay window worth. Like we want to be able to ask for a geoag bay window where it's built into your bay window already and the technology's there for irrigation and, 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 and cleaning and growing. And it's just a part of your bay window. You don't want to have a whole bunch of gallons of recycled material. I mean, although you can, but I designed it that way because I was a Peace Corps volunteer. So we had to design it for the village first. So everything you see is village adaptable. And so now this is our phase where we're, we're getting to designing it for, you know, the more advanced society and community who wants it built into their, to their, um, to their window seal if they can. They want the geoag window treatment. That's a, that's a drawer that goes into a, a window greenhouse and come on and in and out. Or you want the system. Americans don't want the work or the read. They just want to do it. So that's what, but to do that, that's the academics. So right now we're, we're heavy in academia, heavy with K through 12 instructors, heavy with teachers, heavy with training of trainers, because geoag is knowledge. It's not a toy. It's not a gimmick. It's not a gadget. It's simply knowledge, just like all other knowledge. So this is an education curriculum. So that's what we, 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 we set it up as now as an education curriculum. And then we work with the universities to refine it for broader consumer use. And we make it available for regular people through the book. Whatever you do, never try anything related to GeoAg without the book. We said 60% of the rules of gardening different. So if you use 60% of your soil rules with rock, it won't work. Okay, it won't work. 60% of what you might try won't work. And so it's very important where you seed messes up. Your irrigation system will, is not going to work. How you seed, the quantity, it's a lot of differences. And so we stress getting the book. It's very important. We will talk you through these sessions and show you. But if you're going to go out there and you want to create this right here. Now I have a shade area here. So this is my, this is a beige rock, but it's, it's in my shade because it's, it's sweltering hot here. So I'm going to step out and go into my white rock. The white rock produces at a faster weight rate than the beige rock. So down here, cilantro. So this is all cilantro right here. All of this is cilantro. This is all uh, eight weeks old now, but this cilantro was ready at the fifth week, and now it's going and maturing to its flowering phase. And so now it's going to seed itself. Lettuce. This was ready to eat three weeks ago. This is eight weeks old. So in five weeks, that lettuce was ready to eat. That cilantro was ready to eat. We had string beans ready to eat. We've already picked string beans, but here's some more. String beans, okay? Everybody always tries to assume, well, rock can't do this. It, it, it must not be able to do that. It can only do lettuce and leafy greens. It must not be able to do this. And we show you that it can do beans and corn. This is corn. Now, corn, we have to come up with the best mixture of rock. It, 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 corn is hit or miss, but it's something we got to do better at. But then we got these cucumbers climbing everywhere. Cl look at this. I got a, my biggest problem 
is trellising. We don't make trellises tall enough for the rock game. You get hurt. That's 10 feet high. You need ladders. Look at this. When will he stop? How far will this guy go? And how am I going to make him keep going? I got to get in a super ladder, build all the way up to my ceiling. Look at this. And let me show you how far back this. So soon, those cucumbers are going to be up to the roof. In a two, that's a two-story because my, it's my basement and then the top of the house. Okay? And I can, I can remove and harvest everything right now and start all over. And I'll get another five weeks, it'll look the same. And start all over in another five weeks, it'll look the same. If I was in Florida or anywhere below North Carolina, this I could have all year round forever. 60 degrees and higher. And here, and the, here's cherry tomatoes. These are tomatoes. Okay, but these are volunteer. Remember, I talked about the tomatoes in my yard in my, my in the picture. They fall. Well, this tomato spore came with the rock. I brought this rock from over here. I took this rock from this part of my yard, brought it over to this garden. But on this rock was a tiny tomato spore. So when I brought it over here, I got two new tomato plants that not supposed to be over here. They came with the rocks. So that means, guys, I can now sell you tomato rocks. That means I can grow a plant in a rock. I can grow plants like this right now. Here it is. Check this out. Here is my guy now. Okay. Now he, he's basically my height right now. Okay. This guy is going, it's headed for 10 feet. These are my cherry tomatoes. They come back every year. They don't stop. Every year they come back and every year I get more and more tomatoes. And every, here, here we go. Here, here's a little the starter, the starter bunch. There they go. This is the beginning. And then when you, and, and so, and then we do, and the reason we do these classes every week is so you can see this. Quaylen has seen, Quaylen, Quaylen saw this garden when it was first made because he's been in the course to see it. So he was here in the beginning for this garden just six, eight weeks ago. So he knows what happens. You guys are coming in now, you know, and you get to see it, but this is what we teach. And let's look at now, let's look at all these flowers of, of cucumbers. You see all those cucumber flowers in there? Uh oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait a minute. I hit a button. Okay, so you can see all the cucumber flowers. Very healthy. The only problem with my cucumbers, they're all male. So if anyone knows about plants, males don't produce, <laughs> only females produce. So I got this big, beautiful cucumbers with nothing but men. <laughs> but fortunately, in the bio and the bioproducts world, uh, cucumber leaf is also edible and usable and in, in making cucumber extract for different bioproducts. So we can still find a use for this male plant. But that this is an example of just and then this right here, I'm going to stop. This is parsley. This is parsley. One big, huge, gigantic parsley. How many seasoning bags, I mean, parsley seasonings can you make with this? A lot. This is parsley. All parsley. How much, like, people say, well, can you make enough to eat? I'm like, um, I think I already filled you up right here. Like, and, I, and then I got my lettuce over here if you want to, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, is it, do you want this, this dinner and that lunch? I mean, I mean, or, or is my, oh, I forgot to show you my basil. My pretty basil right here. This basil looking nice. So we try to, and, and so what we do here 
in this garden is just show samples, samples of different plants that you can grow um, and, and so that you can see how they look. Some beans, okay? Sample, and you see, just to educate, we use these gardens to educate teachers and training the trainers and faculty. And we try, now this is COVID, we do this so and show you how to replicate what we've got here. But already, just in terms of the intro, we covered a lot and you haven't been able to make a gravel grow cup yet. And so this is an example of class one. This is where we, we have to break it to you that this is happening. And so there are weaknesses. And so we have to train you on that. Um, but we try to, you know, learn together, educate together. All of the rocks where you live are going to have different nutritional value than where I live. And so it's all a matter of testing. Um, but, you know, we're here to work with the population of people who need access to food. So I stop for now. Well, I, you know, I, the, the first time you explained it, I was excited. And then now I'm, I'm even more excited. Um, I have, a, I have a couple quick questions. Um, can, I'm going to go inside. Can, yeah, yeah. It's, it's hot out today, huh? You're, you're in Atlanta, right? I'm in Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Okay, yeah. So it's just it's nice and muggy up there too. Yeah. Um, so, uh, question: Would you be able to grow uh, plants like in a garage, or do you have to have sunlight? No. So we teach you first at home, so you can grow in your basement. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We teach you how to grow in a closet or okay. in a shelf of your your kitchen countertop. Okay. Okay. Like we can cool. turn your kitchen, we can turn your kitchen shelf into your grow area. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, what am I, let's see. I had another, I had another question. Oh, um, uh, uh, bugs outside. How do you, how do you use pesticides or, or what, what natural thing do you use to, to get it? Cause, cause that's what we have in Atlanta. So I try to grow stuff and the bugs just tear it up. Okay, so a couple things on bugs. Bugs exist, let's be clear. However, a lot of bugs live in the soil. Mm. A lot okay. of bugs live in soil. Bugs okay. also live in trees and, and, and grass. But soil is like a cesspool of bugs and other things. Weeds, bugs, chemicals, over the years beaten down. So we do get bugs. Certain bugs are helpful to vegetation. Other bugs eat it. And so um, depending on you know, which bug you're talking about would depend on whether you should do much about it. If they are the eating bugs like broccoli and parsley, they create these little broccoli worms and parsley worms that come out to eat your broccoli and parsley. And so what you have to do is, what I do is manually exterminate those bugs when they show. They're gonna come at a certain time, they're activated by the plant, and then they kill the plant if they can, unless you stop them. Now, I, I, don't, I haven't used pesticides because I haven't found a need for them yet. In terms of my parsley, the bugs came after the parsley grew big, matured, and going into its seeding process. And then the parsley worms comes and eat that. Uh, but it re with respect to bees, obviously, you don't want to, we are very anti-pesticide because uh, the bee situation is real. It is a real, 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 real thing. And even, even here where we are, where my, at the foot of my at the foot of my garden is this super big bee, but I'm not killing them. It's a special rare bee. And I get a little nervous when they flying around me, but they're essential. And so we definitely stay away from pesticides, not to mention in the entomology space. We're big entomology people. 
the bug population is, is almost gone. You know, if you think about most, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think Quaylen would know this, but remember when we used to drive at night long distances, we would get bugs on our windshield. I'm sure Andy and teacher Tim remember bugs on the windshield. They don't exist anymore. There are no more bugs on windshields. And at night, when you look at your street lights, you used to see bugs flying around them. They don't, they're not there anymore. So the, 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 the earth has a extreme bug problem. They're gone and they're messing up the origin of the food chain. So when it comes to those certain types of pesticides, we, we try to say more manual protection versus um, chemical protection because the manual protection saves species, chemical protections don't. And, okay. and you know, what we say usually, most people ask us about animals. And so we just say, get your fencing, your chicken wire, your green steaks, cover it up good. Sometimes people ask about birds, same thing, get your bird netting, cover it up good. If you really have a bug bug problem and you, and you must grow, greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Greenhouses mm -hmm. are cheap. Nowadays, they are pop and, pop and stop, 200 bucks, five, you know, you can get some really great greenhouses that will eliminate all that bug stuff. Mm -hmm. So I wanted okay. to, sometimes our answers are long because we have to dissect where you're coming from and then introduce this other information that's critical, especially about bugs. Bugs is a, is a diminishing population and we're trying to recreate them. Even in my house, my, you know, fireflies, lightning bugs, every year they get less and less and less. Last year I didn't have any. This year, COVID hits, the earth recites, resets a bit, the lightning bugs are back, but they're mutated. They're different. They're not the lightning bugs I grew up with over the past 40 years. So now we're living through mutated species caused by our pollution. I think the, the, the COVID shutdown cleared the air so we literally and the seas and the waterways and species return, some of them very aggressively and very quickly, which just shows you how much we are impacting the species. Yeah, I mean, that, that is something that has been very interesting is kind of watching how the earth shut down or the people shut down and how the earth has just been like, hey, you guys are Thanks. stuck inside. I'm fixing some stuff and things like, you know, in India, they were saying that, that there's a certain mountain range that hasn't been seen in years from the city. And now the pollution is, is uh, you know, lifted. And um, yeah, that's, that's you know. It, I mean, from it, a policy it, standpoint, it, as a president, I might have to go through a quarterly shutdown for the earth and my environment. Just, right? just like, just, just let's stop because you get so much benefit. I mean, think <clears> about the fish population. You do that every year, the price of fish goes to nothing. You get free fish. Mm -hmm. Yep. You would get yeah, free fish if you did crazy. that all every, if you made that a practice. Yep. That's crazy. That's the type of thing. I mean, the earth really did. I mean, humans did a lot to stop life. And the byproduct is earth got to live better. Um, another another question is when let's say uh, a group of, of students decide to do this. Now, am I correct that you guys do like a weekly, uh, like a like a meet, like a like a webinar or an online sort of meeting every week to explain what's in the book? Well, we have a once a week open to the public session that has morphed into the summer course for those who repeat, who keep coming. Because as you saw today, you saw a snapshot in time. Whereas Quaylen, he's, he's 12 weeks in and it's got another 10 weeks to go to, to see these tomatoes to fruition. So he's got, 
he Quaylen's going to be on almost a forty week or thirty week course, and barely still know what to do because he didn't. It's not like you know. It's like a. It's like a course. If you buy a course, if you want to play a piano, right, or a guitar, and we were going to do it online, you'd have to buy your guitar and the book, or buy your piano and the book, and then you buy your the basic book, intermediary book, and so it's the same thing. If you want to do this, you register for the course based on what you want to learn. Quaylen is on the free. I'm going to get this free summer course because there's only one summer. It's the only time of the year. The indoor course you can do over and over and over again. And so, but it's a it's it's what you want to learn. So you can do a four week, so that you can learn what grows in four weeks. You can do the eight week, so you can learn what grows in eight weeks. And that, or and, and then so that is like the 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 extent of what you need to know to do indoor micro farming in order to have enough food for you and your family permanently. Now, if you want to do the business of it, like you, so you, you love it, you're, you've taken the eight week course and you and your family eat geoac foods every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We still eat our Big Macs and we still eat our burgers, but we have a geoac salad. We feel great. I'm not taking my, my body, I'm great. Now you're like, hey, I want to do this where I live and make money teaching others. Then you come take our course to do that. And we set you up on that. Because as you see in the introduction magazine, we first have to share with you that we're a big team. Mm -hmm. We're a big team. Yep. And so we're monitoring everything everywhere because this is critical for human survival. So we want everybody doing it, but we have to coordinate because the 60% of the rules are different. And your indoor training doesn't do anything for you outdoors. Quaylen has seen all this, but he doesn't really know exactly his hands and his own way is different. So he sees it and sees it and he learns it. So he's in theory until he can get the rocks, get the materials, clear out the space according to the rules, do the engineering, and then he can start. But that's a course that we have to teach him for that. And so all courses are custom to you. So Teacher Tim's course would be a teacher-focused course. It would have the components of home sustainment because we want every individual person to know to get your GOAG badge. But we have to teach Tim in educator format educators speak, skills attained, themes of education, analytical reasoning, problem solving, use of natural resources. You know, that educator talk, you know, that in that you, the themes of education, experiments, which experiments to do. We don't teach non-educators school experiments. They don't need to know them. They just need to know how to grow at home, how to test at home, and how to make sure they're safe and can eat at home. Whereas an educator, we're gonna teach light experiments, heat experiments, plastic experiments, like different intensities. All these different rocks, different waters, different seas, all types of stuff. Like in school and academia, you have, you have um, experiment kits. So you have your intro kit, advanced kit, you know, if you're really about it, you need a microscope. If I'm doing faculty training, everybody needs microscopes and plant tissue lab kits. And, they, and a six foot table at home that, is, that they can work on. Because the lab kit for the tissue testing has chemicals in it, but that's only for faculty. So we have different levels from K through 12 to higher education, but also faculty training. So 80% of what we do now is faculty training. We are training as many faculty as we can over the summer in advance of them starting school. Then after that, we switch to back to corporate America. 
to be to prepare them for their areas of responsibility. And then we work with local governments, organizations like you guys to kind of do some just advanced work, you know, wherever you, you reveal yourselves, if you think this is interesting and you're ready to join the rock program. Yeah, that's, that's incredible because, you know, there's, there's people I know that will listen to this and say, I just want to grow some, you know, greens and, and, and use them in my house. And then other people, I guarantee it are going to start thinking about the business side right away. How can I, how can I turn this into business? And, and one thing that you mentioned, um, I know before in, in the previous time was how you have, uh, <clears throat> you know, art is connected to this food service relationships to this, you know, all the, there's like many different kind of facets that come with, with uh, the training that you guys give. And, and I, I really liked, I really liked hearing that because it's not just, Hey, how do you grow plants? It's all these different things. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Let's look at that. Um, Here we go. In mm-hmm. this book. Yeah. And, and, and let me say this book is 262 pages. I could have took it 362. This was back in 2017. Mm-hmm. And so I had to stop, but I couldn't get everything out. But here are 17 industries that you can mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. We have basically, we've got an app for that. <laughs> right. Every one right. of these industries that you see has specific geoag protocols. So you can pick one and I can tell you about it. Pick an industry, any industry. Pick an industry, any industry. Well, I, I, I'm already looking at kind of the landscaper idea, which is really cool, is you turn your landscaping into a food-producing uh, entity. I mean, that's and I, But I didn't show you what my landscaping is. On the back of it, I had a garden backsplash. I got to go show you this. I got to go show yeah, you yeah. Be, be, Because you did. But look, but, but now check it out. So then... Every one of those things has a chapter, uh, an executive summary page. So you get the book. It teaches you what landscapers are going to be doing. And what the international the- development is going to be doing. I'm what, sorry what to you interrupt. do at a farmer's market. How fertilizer companies play. Monsanto, ConAgra. We, get, we can't leave them out. They're critical to the equation, commercial farmers. And so this section of the book, big box retailers, here's our little kit, the gravel grow kit. <laughs> here's it at a store. This is when we, when we beta test it. That's an Ace Hardware with our gravel grow cup kit. But it's a cumbersome, it's a cumbersome line of business retail. And every one of these people need us. So we work with them from academic perspectives now. Does that say space exploration? You got it. Yeah, growing growing on a space station with rocks. Come on, man. That's brilliant. Think about it. What is what is the earth has cousins? What are who are the earth's cousins? All the other planets. What are, what are they all kind of made of? Rocks. Asteroid. Rocks. All Earth's cousins got rocks too. Yes. This, this, this is a, you know, sometimes we ask ourselves, why are you bringing us back before pre-Tower of Babel? For those religious scholars, they might know what happened at the Tower of Babel and why the Tower of Babel came about. See, before the Tower of Babel, man had been doing really, really well, achieving new heights and exploring and becoming super great, but became too great, flying too close to the sun and became too arrogant in its excellence. And then at the Tower of Babel is where they touched the Tower of Babel and it separated all the languages of the earth. And they mm-hmm. all became different languages, all babbling to one another because all the sub-languages were created to break up man 
who had gone too far in their development early. And so when we see this, we're like, wait, all of the rocks that are limited nutrient material, that means food disparities don't have to exist. Nutrition disparities don't have to exist. Hunger is gone. Famine is gone. Life expectancy increases. Like, wait. And so that's where in our world, you know, where does this lead to the end? Well, the eventuality of all of these things is that humanity should be able to live longer. A lot of the sicknesses that we have, we should be able to work out. Remember where medicine comes from. The, met, the DNA of medicine is synthesized from plants. Pills come from plants. The original witch doctors are really plant doctors. Africa, China, Asia, all over Asia, all over Africa, all of South America, Native America, they're plant doctors. They're not witch doctors, they're plant doctors. And then Europe took the plant and made the pill. Pill comes from, derived from the word plant. And so they take a synthetic portion of a plant to make a pill. So what we're trying to do with the biotech and biomedical community is improve the value of the source biomedical material. So if you synthesize this uh, headache medicine from a plant that had nutritional value A, if we can give that plant nutritional value B, C, and D, then your original source synthetic material could be stronger. So when you make that pill, it could be better for us. And so that's where we are, we, that's, where we, that's why we're taking such an academic road at this early phase of the sciences to, you know, development. This is, this is pretty incredible. Um, I, I, I just, you know, I, I think about, you know, I know. I Tim, want to hear teacher Tim. Tim. He's know, over there cracking I know, up. I know. I, Tim you know, is I'm over doing, there. He's got like Tim is ready. He's got his pom poms, his spear. He's got the fist. He's like, yo, let's get it. <laughs> you know, you know why I'm I'm holding out and saying what I'm I'm not saying Tim Tim say anything yet because he's gonna freak out and 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 I gotta ask my questions before he comes in and takes over this whole thing. So um, I'm I'm just messing with him right now, telling the truth. Cause I know he's, I know he's freaking out. Um, one, one more question. And then I am going to turn it over to Tim um, to, to talk because I know how excited, you know, he is because of, of who he is. Um, the book is it, is it, it, I think you said you could get it like in a PDF form, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. We do have that's, the book in PDF, right? Okay. And you can download the PDF for your phone off our website. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to, I am going to let, you know, I'm not let, I'm going to have Tim, you know, talk to you because, because I know he has multiple, multiple things to ask you. Um, what kind of time frame are you on, Mr. Campbell? Um, well, I can multitask. I just need to, um, I might need to, I, I, like, I, I don't like walking around a lot because I hear it makes people dizzy. So... <laughs> <laughs> hey rich all that walking man good lord i'm getting busy over here <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah gonna, you know I'm, I'm, I'm multitasking as well I'm, so I'm as long as i can just uh take my face away i can keep all the other things going i have to do right but right, tim okay. I, I definitely look forward to oh but one thing beforehand let me just get and show you my the backsplash that i was oh, talking yeah. about the yeah. gardening backsplash because remember, guys, um, rocks in agriculture are also referred to as decorative stones. That means we use them because they're pretty, right? So therefore, we can use the same philosophy of decorative stones so that when we create our gardens, we can make it look very beautiful for a home. So if you have a home with a white trim, you can have a white rock. If you have a home with red trim, you can have a red rock. So you can now design and custom design and take that decorative stone philosophy, you know, to the next to the next level a little bit. And so that in the design world, you can do a garden backsplash. Mm -hmm. You see? 
just to make it, you know, we made our little courtyard in here between the two gardens. And so we just did a little backsplash. We had extra tile from my kitchen that we didn't use and just made a nice little backsplash just to make it look, you know, a little interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Curb appeal. Okay, so that's the kinds of things that we also look at doing, um, you know, with this. So that's it. But now let's go to uh, teacher Tim. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna have Tim. Tim talk to you because I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Thank, hey, uh, Mr. Campbell, thank you so much for this presentation. I mean, it's it's just, it's it's way too exciting. So, Tim, go ahead. Hey, Quelan. Uh, first, I have to I have to go to you and and say thank you for approaching Teacher Andy on you know on the street in your neighborhood and wanting to share some words with him and his family. And this is just a connection now, uh, uh, an expanding uh, connection for you and him and humanity. And now to hear someone like Richard talk the way that he's talking with such an energy and excitement it's just it's so beautiful to hear and you know i have the opportunity to listen and and raise my hand and and the fist raise of we're going to raise humanity together on this on this innovative idea and so natural idea of of what is all around us rocks and how simple what he just introduced to the web talk world and to the YouTube world and to the Facebook world, how simple he actually presented it is so beautiful. I want to thank Richard as well, connected to you and now connected to Teacher Andy. I don't really have any words other than Let's continue to support humanity with this vision. And all I have to say is that I was giving voice messages to my wife because she has an idea to grow lettuce in Bangkok, Thailand, in the city for her organic salad rolls idea that she just presented in Web Talk with her son with a logo asking web talkers to choose, we now have an opportunity to learn with others to do this and to build her company idea. And that's where I stand, Richard. I am just someone who wants to stand with humanity and support humanity with innovative ideas that are so close to nature's law. And I loved what you shared about pesticides and insects. I absolutely love it because I lived in Florida for a decade and the, and the, the insects that hit the car, people complained because it took the pain away. And you're saying now, now today insects are disappearing and they're not hitting the cars. I understood what you were talking about. I live in Bangkok, Thailand, and insects are everywhere. The lights are on. They come. I live in a part of the world that's alive. And I'm thankful for it. And, and, and so, Richard, um, I, I really don't want to say much in this broadcast. I'm just here to listen. Teacher Andy organized all of you together. I just want you all to know that you have 65 plus countries that are going to listen to you based on their own passion, their own dreams, their own facts, their own learning issues, because we have so many in this project to, to go through. We can do this to get her. We can do this together. Her is life. We can do it. And 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 Quelan, thank you for the spoken words. Thank you for from 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 the heart. Uh, Teacher Tim stands with you as a human being to cure. Like we said, we talked about the cure is on. That's a guarantee. The cure is on. 
and, and, and to, to Richard, I just want to say thank you for creating the time for Teacher Andy to present this with an organization that's actually a true nonprofit. It's, it's Innovative English Global with human beings that just have come together to listen and create based on sharing. So that's all I'll say, Teacher Andy, because I feel like Richard is the same type of human like me and, and, and expanding energy the way he was talking and laughing and, and, and in his garden. Look at this. Look at this. Here's the green bean. And again, he showed the green bean again, another green bean. That's an excitement that he wants to project to the world because the world says soil and now we're hearing rocks we got to project it we got to we got to we got to make this happen and he is making it happen with Quailon and now with teacher Andy and and and, and like I said so I'll I'll stop there yeah um I think that that you know we've we've taken enough of your time, Richard. But um, what I would love to do is um, whether you want to do it as a live event because right now we are live. We are in multiple um, you know social media sites. We're in Facebook. We're in Web Talk. We're in uh, YouTube, uh, Zoom. We are in all kinds of different things. This is being this is being broadcast to a lot of different groups and a lot of different places. And so um, what I would like to say is that, Richard, what, what I would like to do is um, talk to you, you know, whether we do it, you know, privately or a different live. But what I would like to do is to kind of start talking about the, um, you know, how we're going to approach this and, and put this out there, because I would like to talk, I would actually like to talk to you kind of personally and, and privately about that, because I don't want to start, you know, putting stuff out, you know, that, that people are listening to that, that you want, that you don't want to, you know, kind of, I think, talk about in, in a big, massive group. But what I wanted is I wanted you to get on and, and, and show the world, you know, what you've got going on here, because this is massive. Um, and I think that, that, you know, as we talk, we can kind of show you one, how massive it is for us. But like I said, at the beginning of this, Richard doesn't need us. Richard doesn't need us. I mean, his, his company is, is huge. His company is, is worldwide. And, and that's what I want people to know is a lot of times we say, Hey, if you come to us, we will, we will promote you. We will put this out there and we will help you. This is this is kind of the opposite is, is the way I look at it is is this is going to help us in, in, a, in an amazing way. The people that are that are part of IEG that are just, you know, worldwide and, and what they can do with this. So um, I've, I, I, I want to just kind of brainstorm with you how how we can present this um, and how we can work with you guys um, to make this beneficial for everyone that's involved. And um, so we'll set up a time to do that because I would like to talk to you about some, you know, kind of other other things. This is more of getting your information out and having people starting to respond and and um, kind of reply and talk about how they feel about this and what they want to do um, within IEG because I think the response is going to be massive. I'm looking on, I'm looking on, uh, um, you know, my just my comments right now and. And, um, you know, people are watching this. Um, they're, they're saying that it's nice. This is huge. Um, you know, and I think that as, as the world hears this video, you know, in the, in the next 24, 48 hours, because this will start, and Quaylon can, can attest to this. This is just well, a, let, let, let us then say go to our website so you can get the book. You want yeah. go to our, you wanna go to our website. Now, I was a radio show host once before, so we do a little jingle for our website. Okay. Um, it's to soilless.com. That's T O S O I L L E S S to soilless. To soilless. Come on, come on, come on. T O S O I L L E S S. Come on. T O 
S O I L L E S S. Two soil less. Two soil less. There it is. We want to go to a soil less environment. We want to use the soil less. Let the soil rest. Wow. It's now time for the rock. Nice. To soilless.com. Download the book. You want the book as a PDF so you can do searches. You can just search tomato and you can go and see all where we reference tomato. So definitely the PDF. Don't try anything on your own. You won't get it. Remember, humanity has messed this up since existence. It's the same rock as the same stuff the cavemen had. They could have figured it out. <laughs> they didn't. Is this, okay. is this the correct? The correct yes. Uh, T-O-S-O-I-L-L-E-S-S. -S. That's it. And you can Sweet. click on it if you can show people what it looks like. Let's see if it comes okay. up. Oh, there mm -hmm. it is. Okay. That's Good. us. Sweet. That's, my, that's our little commercial and news and all types of stuff. So, yeah, you go there, you get the book, read it. A lot of people do this, especially Americans. I, we're talking to non-Americans out there, so I know you guys would do just well. <laughs> Americans don't want to read. We are a Cliff Note crew. <laughs> our Cliff Notes need Cliff Notes. Cliff Notes are too big. So we got a lot of color, a lot of colorful pictures. But chapter two is indoors, how to master indoors. Chapter three is outdoors. If you, if you just wanted, if you wanted to dumb it down, just chapter two. And you can just look at the pictures. Well, we, we aren't the typical, the typical American crew here in IEG. I hope but not. Exactly right. now, but yeah, exactly they, right. they, they get the book. You want to get the book. I can email you some of the magazines so you can kind of see, you know, the, but get the book because the book really, 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 really shows you what to do. And mm -hmm. what we really recommend for all households is a hard copy of the book. So you could draw in it and write in it. Mm -hmm. And then the PDF for everybody to have on their phone. Mm -hmm. And so you can also order hard copies from us. Um, but, you know, if you really want, everything like the way you want it you want a book to help you guide you through your gardening process but you can use your phone as well right. but that's what we recommend everybody Do, hard copy and, and, and you guys ship internationally is that true yeah i mean you can contact us um we have the thing about the shipping internationally is you gotta buy at least 10 okay and so but other than that yeah okay well um I don't really have any more questions as of right now. Like I said, I would love to, you know, set up a, a time for us just to, to talk. Um, you know, so, so I would like that. Uh, Quaylon, do you have any questions or anything that you want to put into this? Because, um, you know, what are, what are some things that you would like to add to this? You've covered a lot of the questions you had are the ones that were on my mind as well. I was like, people need to know this. The only other question that I would have is, Will we be able to do a live where we're all creating a gravel grow cup together? So they're seeing the process for some people who are like still learning English. And yes, you can still look at the pictures, but they say, like, oh, so you really just only need a cup and a poke some holes in it. Get the Whoa. sand in the rock. Kind of. Uh, we went because mm -hmm. in three days, you won't know what to do. And then mm -hmm. seven days, you won't know what to do. And then 10 days later. And then 15 days, you're finished. You've already broken it. Mm. There's no okay. way you're going to figure out what to do. And that's just on our, every time we try these little one class deals, we get them started. And then they don't remember. They, they can't maintain it. They can't do anything mm. next. And then they, it dies and they say, oh, it doesn't work. And so, you know, we, we, we have a curriculum. And then we're, we're consultants like Deloitte. So if you want this to be a part of your company's operation or your farming operation or your school or your organization, then you, you, you know, engage us and we set up a, a program and curriculum for you. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, you guys teach, teach other teachers. So then what you should do is set us up to teach your other teachers yeah. so that they'll know. I mean, exactly. you people are gatekeepers to others. So it's really up to you 
on whether you want your community to know how to do this properly and take our coursework properly. So you can make it a part of your teacher programming. Say, hey guys, we got a new course coming up this fall. This is what it costs. We got to get books. You got to get kits because I have you have to get packets of seeds and materials to do this at home. The way universities are operating now is that we send all of our students the kits, the books. So just like a basketball, you need a you need a basketball and you need some tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. And so just like with us, you need about one hundred dollars with supplies, about one hundred and fifty dollars of supplies to get started. And so then we teach you and then we talk you through. But just like today's today's class, it's already over an hour. And um, you still don't know how to make anything. And right. so we have class one is intro. Class two often becomes psychological discourse because this is different than all humans think and know. And then when you go talk about it to your friends, they're not going to believe you. You will get in arguments with others mm -hmm. about it. Quaylen is shaking his head. <laughs> yeah. He tells people it's real. So I have to then the second week, we often find ourselves on the psych, you know, on the on the on the couch because you're upset that you told your brother and he didn't believe you. And this happened and then he got angry with you. Everybody started arguing at a party because you came in there with this new message that's counter to culture. So our classes have to stop and go through that in order for everyone to learn and build to show, OK, this is how you have to show your friends. You start by saying on Facebook, hey, look at this. And, you, and then they walk through your first gravel grow cup together. So as you take as you start on day one, you post it on your Facebook. And then every, as you see growth, you post more. So then two weeks later, when you talk to your friends about it, it's not a hard conversation. Yep. So we have to teach that even. And so that's how come it's not just a quick thing. And so it's a it's a curriculum thing, but and even still, it's just like playing the piano. We go back to music instruments because it's the best way to explain it. How much does it cost to learn how to play piano? Well, it depends on how long will it take you to learn how to play piano? <clears throat> well, it depends on how good you want to be. It could cost you a million dollars and take you 40 years to be the best pianist in the world because that's what he spent getting to be the best pianist in the world. And so obviously it's not the same with us, but it kind of is because what if you're trying to grow trees? When will you know if a geoag tree is good for you? About 30 years after the tree grows and we cut it and we burn the wood and we see how long it takes to burn. But we have to grow the tree to do that. So if you're an ag if you're in the lumber business, or wildlife business, my, my, our conversations are much, much longer than mm -hmm. if you're at home trying to feed your dying mother. Mm -hmm. Then we can take care of you in, inside of three weeks. Because we pick the quick growing plants for sick people and show you how to just solve that problem. So we come in as problem solver trainers. So you have a problem, we, we'll say, okay, it's going to take you this long to learn it. And then we train you on it. So whether you're doing teaching first grade or you're teaching adults and everybody in between, we've set up systems for that. And one of our universities specializes in it. We have so many universities because everybody specializes in something so that all of your requests can be met with academic integrity. And so ultimately, we're just we're open for business just like any a plumber we're a plumber we're a piano coach so if you want plumbing or you want piano coaching you call the experts so just give us a call you want it in your business give us a call we just like getting a new oven thank you i have to leave at 12 45 just have another call i have one have to be ready for but uh, Mr. Richard Campbell, thank you so much for being able to share this amazing um, information. Teacher Andy and Teacher Tim, Yola, everybody, thank you all for being on the call.
and being able to learn this information, being excited again, hearing me every time I hear it, I'm just like through the roof. Like, yes, I feel like everyone in the world should know about it. Everybody needs to be doing this because like you said, this is literally life changing. Mm -hmm. um, I think we can do it. And I think this is a great team that we have together to do that. So I'm appreciative for all of you um, amazing individuals coming together for that. Well, thank you, Quaylen, for setting this up and, and, and meeting your neighbors by yeah. happenstance. Right, right. So that's, a, you know, it's, it's interesting how things happen in life. That is the truth. Yeah. Um, Tim, do you have anything else to say uh, right now? No, not at all. Quaylen, okay. enjoy your day. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks, Quaylen. All right, you all. Have a great oh, day. Hello. Um, I am the vice yep. president of the soil less Richard and I work together on everything that we do. I'm the supporter doing whatever needs to get done to support the man and achieve the goals. I also have plenty of things growing in my gardens, including banana. Uh, yeah. Let's show them your banana real quick. Let's show them your banana okay. and Swiss jar. <laughs> Yola, where, where are you at right now? I'm in Annandale, Virginia, right outside of Washington, D.C. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Show and them your so... Swiss jar and your, and your, and your, uh, yeah, I want to see the bananas. And the, well, it's the so... bananas are just getting started. They're not, they're not oh, growing okay. bananas yet. Okay. The Swiss chards. Chards. We've been okay. harvesting it for about two months. It just keeps going and going and going in a very small space right here. I also got fennel, fennel roots right here. It's going to seed now. So we're gonna harvest the seeds and replant. But all of this here is fennel. And so that's the two main things in this garden. Let me show you the banana. <laughs> yeah, I'm really interested in this. This is in a, in a different rock. It's the white um, marble chips. And that's the banana. I transferred, I, I moved its home from one garden, one geoag garden to another. But I brought this banana from Atlanta last year, planted it, it took and grew nicely. And then about two weeks ago, I moved it from one location to another. So it's struggling a little bit. But this leaf came ever since it's been in this new garden about 10 days to 14 days. And then I have other things growing. This eventually is gonna be just the space for the banana. I think it's gonna grow and take over the space. But for now, I've got corn just planted there two weeks ago, uh, a week ago or two weeks ago. Squash. <laughs> beans. All of this stuff, the beans, the squash, um, and then I've got mustard right here, hard to tell still, but um, it's coming out nice and it's very flavorful. Um, all of yeah, that was all so about 10, 11 days, yeah, 11 days ago, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So that's one garden, and then here's my avocado, avocados started um, uh, you so yeah she made an avocado and she, she, she cut out yeah she's cutting out yeah she made she took an avocado from dinner and she put it in the water until it cracked and then put it in the rock and now we've got a small avocado tree growing Beautiful. That's insanity. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. That is a little really bit. Cool. You, you, it's crazy because, you know, I'm not, I'll, I'll admit it. I'm not a huge, you know, produce kind of eating person, but the things that were, that you guys are showing right now are all the things that I actually eat all the time, which is like the, the bananas and the beans and, and, and avocados and stuff like that. I'm just like, and corn, I'm like, okay, well, those are the, those are the, you know, these, these are things that I actually do eat. And then I'll, you know, I'm, I'm excited to add some other things because you know, just 
just as a as a as a project. I, I think this is going to be wonderful as a project just for my boys. You know, hey kids, we're going to learn how to grow stuff, and they're going to you know they're going to be part of this. So. Uh, and what you want to do is you know our Sunday class is at two o'clock. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll get Quaylen to send you, um, or you can text me your email, or I can email, and you too, teacher Tim. Every Sunday at two o'clock, we've got folks on. We're looking at folks' gardens from around the world, and that's what we have available. It's free. You can just come on any Sunday at two o'clock that you want, Eastern time. Is it, is it a Zoom or a YouTube? It's a Zoom. Okay. It's a Zoom. So, so we'll we'll start broadcasting that all over the place. Yeah, what we'll do, I'll send you the invite for it, mm -hmm. and let me kind of okay. show you how it looks. And Bronx Community College. They host these Sunday sessions. Okay. Do you see the image? Yep. That's it. Wow. That's what we send out every Sunday. That's what we do every Sunday. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start we're gonna start really. So I can I'll this. just send you that, and I can just get your email. Did I get your email before? Uh, I don't know. It's a uh, Smith S M I T H. Okay. Hold on. A let me just, let me just oh. send this to you. Uh, you know, what? I'm going to send you the one for tomorrow. We have a, another session tomorrow that Morgan state is ho hosting. What is it? S M I T H. Yes. S M I T H A D three. Oh. S M I T H A D three 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 at gmail.com. And would uh, teacher Tim like to give us his email? Yeah. Okay. S E. Teacher Tim was busy looking at my beans. Yes, I saw you. I saw you. You know, you got the hand, and we have the picture of this Sunday class. Yes, Sunday there you go, Yola. <laughs> it's very crunchy and juicy. Wonderful. Thank you. Let me get that email. Okay. S E D A I N Hawaii at yahoo.com. Uh, Yola, were you listening when, when I was talking to Richard about uh, Web Talk? Yes, the first time. Yep, I was on the yeah, phone. Okay. okay. Um, what, I would, what I would really like to do is, you know, sit down with you guys and, and kind of um, brainstorm a little bit on how Web Talk can fit into all of this as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, oh, it is. Web Talk. Yeah, yeah it, it's pretty straightforward to work with you guys because it it is just all about a matter of our curriculum. You know, we have things to advertise to your community so that your community can engage us. Right. It, yeah, well, because and, we want to. Yeah, we want to be able to, like, we can do these periodic engagements with you mm -hmm. if you choose, and but mainly it is letting people know we exist, so that they can contact right. us, right. so that we could develop something for them, right? Because everybody's in a different time zone, a different place. They all have different needs. Yeah. So the biggest thing is to let folks we know we exist and encourage them to get in contact with us because right. we can help them. right and so well, and we, I'm just, and you know we, and i'm i'm also thinking you know very very much you guys have all these universities and things those universities if they if they you know use your link and get into web talk and be the the top universities that that are that are you know in the beginning stages of, of web talk and start, you know, building their business, you know, pages and stuff like that. They, I think it would be incredible for the you universities, guys. As well. The universities themselves are very busy because right. we're all in transition of a new type of education. Yeah. So they are, yep. they are maxed out on everything. Oh, I and agree. So, 
Yeah, they they're maxed out on a lot of things, and so um, and then we but don't what, really. But what, but what I think, the social media people, right? But what I think is those universities, the social media side of it that they are having to embrace right now, um, ultimately. What Web Talk can do for these universities and for the students and for the people that are involved with you guys communicating and all generating a, a revenue source on top of a, a, a produce source. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable what what your entire community could do within Web Talk to support each other, not just in the, the, the produce, but monetarily what this could do. Um, for, for people that are, that are connected to you is, I, I just think is, is out of this world. And the thing is, is people are, are wanting to communicate socially. I mean, this is a huge, you know, you, like you say, let's have a meeting. Let's talk about, you know, the different countries and what they're doing with their produce. All of that interaction starts generating revenue. And now, and now you're starting to get to a point, and, and this is, and this is to me is in, in a little bit in the future, but not too far in the future. Instead of saying, "Hey, um, here's a kit, pay for it," all the generated revenue of the interaction is going to start paying for those kits. You know, and that for is us, going to be incredible. You know, we are a business available yep. with a service that you need, possibly. So we encourage you to reach out to us if you want to have no more malnutrition, food access, and all of that. And so our universities, their revenue models are, you know, what they are, you know, as it relates to tuition and grants and endowments. So they they don't allow for supplemental revenue models of this nature. It's not legal for their university to do that. Uh, And then for us as a company, we're a company. Right. So if, if someone wants our service, we by all means recommend that they contact us and learn what we do. Right. There are a lot of models out there for making money um, and there are social media models out there for making money. I think, you know, YouTube has shown us a good one, although it's not as good as some others. And so we appreciate that. And we'll, you know, we, we, we've joined WebTalk and so we will see how it works. Okay. You have, you have joined web talk. Yeah. Okay. So let me, um, look that up right now to, um, start getting people to connect with you there. Um, what yeah, is Yola, you want to tell them your name on the web talk? Yeah. Yeah. It's under Yola Balde or it's a soil less company organization. Aww. Yola last name. The- B as a boy, A L. Okay. B okay. as in it's David. Okay. E. okay. Yep. There we are. Vice yeah, president. We, so, okay. Excellent. Okay. So we, what I'm going to do is I am going to copy your link, and I'm going to put it in the chat here right now, or in uh, yeah in the in our live right now, and have people start connecting with you guys right now. And then, if I'm not mistaken, you know the way the system works. The more activity you have, the more money you make too, right? Oh yeah, I mean it's it's the 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 whole the, the way I the way I talk to people about this is the ecosystem that can be grown through this is is when a when a business comes in, okay, and and like we're doing right now, all of our people are going to start connecting with you. All of our people are going to start following you, and when you make a post, all that interaction. Is a is a revenue generating kind of thing, so yeah, so, I get it. So, I, I I like it. I love it. I think it's great, but I'm also stating that then for you, it's good too to keep posting about GeoAg because it creates your your attraction as well. So you know, we we created we wanted this uh, philosophy to be income dra- in, income generating for everybody, right? So right. if the two of you can if you figure out a way that by just posting pictures of plants growing in rocks you can get money then we love that we want you to do that and we would encourage you to you know like we'll we'll do it ourselves 
Right. You know, we'll do it ourselves. Yola's doing it. She invited me to do it. We'll all do it. But it's also, you know, good for you to continue to share what we're doing too, so that and, you can get that track. And we'll do it too. And what what's going to happen? And and this is the next level. Sixty five countries of people doing this will start posting their pictures of their gardens underneath uh, on, on your post so they're going to be interacting with you guys and ultimately that interaction is supporting you as well so i i appreciate the i appreciate that you're saying hey go ahead and do that because we want you to be successful well they're going to do it as well and it's going to help them it's going to help you it's going to help a teacher it's going to help a business it's going to help a, a human it is it is the the all, it's, like, just that, it's just that with us as you can see on our in our magazine, we got a lot of we're really like I am so backed up. Yep. It's I can't even get to it to register. But I, I wanna I can take a picture and send it to Yola to hopefully get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, but we are just so backed up. Um, even the day, the day, like you know, I, I have people things that are due. Yep. Um for yep. right after this call, I'll go to my next thing all the way until tomorrow. And so it's a, it's a, we're backed up. Then we yep. have grants due and programs due all week. So we like the, the platform and the thing. So, you know, we're doing it, but like today's call, if you didn't push us to do it, these people wouldn't know. Yeah. And so that's what we're saying. You should yep. probably still push us to do it. Otherwise your people won't know. We want them to know, but we're also, we're the only game in town and we're tied up. And, and you know but what? If you, if you press on me to do another one of these and we'll make the time and we'll, it, it'll work. But, yep. you know, our schedules are still always full. Yep. I understand. I understand. And that's, I'm, I'm excited, man. I, I'm, I'm already thinking about like, how are we going to support you and, and develop this for you as well? And I think that, 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 as we kind of get going, I think that there will be people that are gonna that are gonna take this and they're gonna uh, they're gonna do things that are gonna help promote so you. So let's well. just, let's do a weekly. Next okay. week we, we reconvene at the same time, and we'll go through another one of our magazines. Okay. Okay. We'll go through a different magazine. We'll see some more Yola stuff. You can see what's going on week to week, and then every Tuesday at eleven will be this organization's time. Your, it'll be Andy Smith's and Teacher Tim's time with the Rocks, and we just okay. have a fun every every Tuesday. Okay, um, I'm going to have to uh, figure out how to do this at, at this time because I am back in you know getting back into the school mode, and you know today was one of those lucky days that I had a you know I had some time you know I'm, or I'm the actually... weekend or the weekend okay. whenever if, right. I mean if you guys okay. if you guys want to do this we're available. Yeah. So okay. it's just about when you want to schedule the time. If you want okay. to make it recurring, we're we're all for it. Sweet. That's so perfect. you know we'll, we'll we have out. recurring times already. Yeah, we'll per, we'll figure or you can out just join our Sunday. Yeah, and that's and that's something that you know uh, I think would be perfect is doing the Sunday thing because yeah. that's one less added thing for you. Um, we can come to that. And, yeah, and, and then and we can just it. advertise the Sunday yep. thing every week, and that could do you, you have, can push it. Yeah. Do you have any um, promotional videos for your company? Yeah, we got all okay, types send of stuff. Send that to me in my email, and I'll start um, posting that in the uh, web talk as well. Okay, we'll just start sending stuff, and then uh, we'll also start posting stuff. But yeah, we we like the web talk. We thank you for setting us up for us today. Whenever you want to do another one with us. We're here for you. And, awesome. you know, Teacher Tim, the same for you. If you want to do something, awesome. you know, you're the other side of the world. Your needs are specific and different. And so we want to be able to make sure we, we, we support the people there in India. And if you have a super amount of bugs, get bug zappers. Right. Okay. Not pesticides. Okay. Bug zappers. Not pesticides. Correct. All right.
All right. Wonderful. Well, hey, right, I don't want to. I want to waste more of your time. I, I, it's not a waste of time, but I don't want to, you know, take more of your time. Let's say that. I really appreciate you taking the time out to do this. I think this is incredible, and I am. I'm super excited to talk to you know some different people within uh, you know Web Talk world and see what we can um, come up with as far as as starting this and and getting involved into this as as quickly as possible because I think the I think the response is going to be pretty pretty awesome. I know I'm interested. I know that there's some people that I'm pretty sure are interested in Kurdistan already. So that group is is just they just need to see it. Um, and then you know I think that there will be some other groups that will jump on this. I think a, a group in Colombia might be something that that is going to you know take off as well. So um, give me a little bit of time. Um, I will, you know, so that we can, you know, communicate with them and see what's up. But I, I really do appreciate this. And I think this is incredible. And I, and I'm excited. I want to do this. So uh, selfishly, I'm involved right now with this. So um, if we can get if we can get IG and I know Tim, you know, we can, I, I think this is going to be pretty awesome. So um, thank you so much, Richard. And thank you so much, Yola. And uh, we are going to, uh, Yola, you're going to see a lot of uh, different countries connecting with you in, in web talk. Um, and, and so I know it's, I know you guys have, are very busy, but understand that you are going to see a bunch of people connecting in web talk to support this. I will look out for that. And um, thank you all for your time as well. We look forward to continuing the conversations. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, All right, thanks, thanks, Thank you, Richard. Thank you, guys. Have a great week. Right. Sadi Ka. Okay. Very Thank good. Oh. Bye. Hey, teacher Andy, stay um, here. Stay here because we're going to talk yeah, a little yeah. bit. And and I, I because he just made a beautiful point about the universities. It's a correct. Mm -hmm. It's a correct point. It's a fact. Yeah. Yep. They 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 will not go towards this. And then another another thing that he shared is see what he's presenting to IEG that he already knows blows humanity away when you present it rocks da, da, da. well he doesn't he he kind of felt what energy we are we are something that's blowing humanity as, as away as well so you combine the both thing. yeah because when you combine yep. what he has into web talk and and he instead of know. it exactly exactly and, and and the way that he is he's in and and he doesn't have to do anything anymore in web talk no at all no no and he when he's offering a tuesday and and and, and a certain day for for us to showcase i, I mean I, 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 that is just incredible yeah that yep. this man and this woman in two different states, Maryland and Virginia, are saying we're going to be there for you. I, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the universities and the other stuff. That's going to come at another time. Yeah. Yeah. The, it'll come separately when they're not connected to the university. Those faculty right. members, they'll 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 be outside yeah. of the four walls yeah. of it. So. Well, it, I'm just. I guess for me, what I'm saying is the people that they're working with, that they're building these gardens with and doing all this work, those are the people that we, if we can get them connected to them in web talk, that just supports them. And, and they don't even know how much support that's going to be. Yes. And, and that's the, that's the part that, you know, we'll, we'll work on that. That's, that's fine. But that's what I'm kind of talking about is the people that not like a university, but maybe the people that are that are doing these growing and things and and they can start posting and start put you know pumping this information into web talk you know people in web talk are going to see this and be instantly saying wait what what can i do how do i get involved with this and they are going to get an exposure that that uh is going to you know be be off the charts yeah so um i'm i gotta be done i'm i'm about an hour late in a in a class yeah and i noticed that not man <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know what, I'm not going to lie. The, 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 the meeting that's going on right now, the meeting that we're doing, that's going to, that's going to, that's way better. I mean, this is, this is a global meeting that we're doing right now. This is, this is just a bunch of people talking about how to, how to teach class online. 
Yeah, I already got that. So I don't. I, I'm not. I'm just. I'm just hoping that they're not asking too many questions of of the people that are listening. But I, I haven't seen really anything that shows me that. Um, so let's just let, let's just say that that we're you know when he gives us the information we'll you know we'll do the sunday stuff right now we'll make that a a live kind of post and you know have people get involved and, and start talking about it and answering their questions i think that there's going to be people that are going to have a lot of questions about this so um i don't know probably i i can probably do a, a zoom tonight for people to come in and start asking their questions or what you could do um, if you are watching this right now, why don't you post your questions in, uh, uh, leave your comments, comment some questions in my post right now. Um, what I'll do is we'll go back and we'll look at those questions and we'll try to answer those questions in a Zoom tonight, in a live tonight. Would that work? Like your morning, I guess. Um, you know, if people do have questions or if people want to come on and start talking, because I think that there's going to be people that are going to, you know, want to know how to do this and, and what we can do. And I think we need to start brainstorming how we're going to be able to kind of push this out to people because there is a cost, there is money involved. And, you know, we've always said that, that no money needed. Um, that is web talk. This is a business. So when they say that they, they charge, come on, you know that they have to charge. That, that it's a business and and that's what we do we promote businesses and we hope in the future that that when this business sees the support that they're getting and realize the value of it that's going to be a different thing um because they're a business they're they're in the mindset that they have to sell a product to be successful and that's every business right now every business is is that's their model get promoted get the information out sell a product and that's fine. That's what a business should do right now. But as web talk grows, businesses like this, they're going to see they're going to see a, a return on their investment. That's it, it. I don't even know what to think about it right now because I understand how many people are going to want to do this. Because I'm, I'm looking at it going, wait a minute, you can just throw some stuff in some rocks and, and, and figure that out and have someone train you how to do that. And this is going to be successful in my basement or outside. I mean, that just included everybody in the world. Yes. Because everyone has a basement or they have outside. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. And so, um, yeah, so that's that's huge. But um I, I, if you want to, are you going to continue, Tim? Or uh, yeah, it, it's well? midnight my time. I'm going to continue for a little bit. I'm going to okay. I'm going to reflect and kind of talk because. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. I'll listen to it a little bit later. All right. Dude. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to make you the host, and I am going to go to this other meeting and and listen on how how I should uh, teach online, and uh, I'll listen to the rest of this in a little bit. Very good. Uh, all right. Well done, Thanks. man. Thanks. Well done. Amazing. Amazing to hear Richard speak and, and Quailon speak. Um, what what I what I was listening to, and knowing you know what teacher Patty is creating, my wife, an idea of salad rolls, and it's funny because. Our son just created some logos some, and brochures uh, to promote this this company again in Bangkok, Thailand. And it is one of the facts is they need lettuce. They need the inner workings of the salad roll. And now they have to purchase it with different companies. And that was one of the problems, one of the situations that my wife ran into. And the ups and downs of the produce, the prices. And now, right away, the, the voice message is already to my wife. And her husband's going to purchase whatever's needed for them to learn and get the kits to grow the, the things for the salad roll so they can create their business the way that they're going to create self-sufficient. They have the area. They'll learn how to do it. Teacher Tim will be in that course as well.
purchasing whatever kits they need and see to the web talk world what you're going to realize is that if we support Richard and Yola and we go to their web talk posts whenever they present something they're going to see that they're earning revenue based on comments and emojis and what's going to happen from there do you think they're going to keep the money and what about all of the members that are making revenue from IEG in three months six months from now the revenue is just building and building you don't think that you're gonna want to be part of a kit for your own home as you learn and see all these web talk lives and this interaction going on and we're learning about different parts of the world with different rocks and how to grow using recyclable plastic we just saw the beginning today it already started it already started IEG is just as innovative as plants growing from rocks you combine them you have an even more unstoppable force what an honor it was to listen to Richard present with an energy that equaled teacher Tim's the true project based teacher was just simply deeply listening so Sunday 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time New York time that will be one o'clock in the morning Monday morning Thai time teacher Tim will be there that's a guarantee and then there will be other times where Richard wants to set up showcases we will web talk live YouTube live Facebook live now teacher Andy was under a lot of you know situations right before so he didn't do the live web talk from inside zoom the fourth platform see that's why the OBS was set up with his streaming key we are live without using zoom and YouTube in zoom we had the fourth glory Facebook live here it's just because he was getting everything together in a short period of time I did not want this to happen again it happened already during the book see teacher Andy is in true project based we needed the fourth platform of the book launch it did not happen live on Facebook did not happen again the next time teacher Tim takes over I could not interrupt him when the individuals are in there hey teacher Andy can you make me a host to get me live Facebook it wasn't the time the next time it will happen
Humanity has learning issues. They're beautiful to be in the process of. In true project based. Did you all see the excitement from teacher Andy? This helps all of WebTalk. Not just IEG. All of WebTalk. You bring in one at a time. It's that simple. With that said, everyone, we're going to end this OBS. And when we end the OBS software, and it's free, the screen sharing will shut off everywhere on the laptop. Yes, we're in Zoom. You can be in a free Zoom app. This is upgraded. That's the purpose of the OBS. We use the OBS to go YouTube live on the outside, connected to OB, you know, OBS. When we stop the streaming in OBS, it will stop the web talk live. We had an option inside the upgraded Zoom to go Facebook live from inside here. Didn't happen today. It will happen next time.